KJ, uh, obviously day one, a long way to go, but you know, just kind of what's the connection like with so many new faces at wide receiver right now? Saw a couple really nice starts to, to Andrew and, and Isaac to start the day. Oh, it was a really good day, a uh, good first day. I mean, just being able to get out there with the coaches around and coaches coaching the guys up and players uh, being coachable, uh, getting out there with the receivers. I mean, it was a pretty good, great connection uh, today, uh, just being able to having a summer uh, with those guys, those transfers that came in, building a bond and getting time and chemistry down packed and then coming in on our off days, doing the same thing, just making sure we can feel each other out. They know how I'm going to throw the ball, what I'm going to throw the ball and stuff like that. So today was just a, a great positive day for uh, the whole receiver uh, core and the quarterbacks. Do you feel like compared to, to last year, like you're in a similar spot right now with, with uh, your connection with, you know, fellow the weapons and the guys you're going to be throwing to this season? Oh, I do. I mean, but like I said, we take it one day at a time. I mean, we want to keep uh, progressing and getting better, uh, keep staying positive, keep encouraging those guys, keep working hard. I mean, iron sharpens iron in that room. So, I mean, we just want to keep progressing and keep taking it day by day. Pooh, I was curious about a uh, new linebacker in the room, Jaheim Thomas. What are your thoughts on, on him, his skill level, and just how he's meshing with everybody? Uh, I feel like Jaheim had a good day today. He don't picked up on the schemes and things like that. But Jaheim was the type of guy, you know, to just come in and, and just get extra film review and things like that. Or just hit us up if he had any questions. But the way he moved around today, he was fast, he was fluent, and he was just moving around like a, a, like a linebacker should. KJ, I wanted to ask you about freshman receiver Davion Dozier. He had a couple of nice catches today mm -hmm. when we were out there. Um, looks good in the playmaker number 88. What, what are your thoughts on on him and his – can he help you all this year, you think? Oh, for sure. I mean, Davion is a great guy, man, a uh, great teammate to have. Uh, he's young. He's maturing in some areas uh, quickly. Um, he's, like I said, coming in on them off days, I mean, he's the first one in the building. I mean, he's excited to work. He's ready to work and eager to learn. I mean, so having a guy like that as a freshman coming in that's eager to learn and ready to work and also just bringing the other young guys along with him that's showing them that, hey, we can we, ha we have a chance to do some um, big things here. So just bringing the guy in like Davion, I mean, is, is a great asset. Because I can remember every freshman back who's gone on to have a really good career has bit as a freshman. Do you think Augustov could possibly get in the mix early, even though you got a pretty loaded backfield? Uh, of course. I mean, I feel like we, uh, with Coach Enos being the offense coordinator, I feel like we can scheme some things up uh, to have uh, Isaiah in the backfield with me. Uh, also, I mean, he's like I said, he's in a, a great room. Uh, those guys in there are coaching him up, teaching him. Uh, Rocket, Dominique, AJ, uh, Rashad, all those guys. He look up to those guys. So those guys just being a, a learning tool for him, helping him learn and make sure he got the plays down packed. And I feel like he's going to help us. Well, the Gums just plays quite a bit of college football. I mean, I, I know it's been one practice, but you worked with him in the summer. Do you feel like he looks like somebody that's played a lot of college football? Uh, he does. I mean, he understands uh, football really well. He has a great uh, football IQ uh, that he presents on the field, and just the other guys look up to him in those uh, areas about football IQ. And I mean, he just understands football. I mean, we've been playing the game since he was little. We all been playing the game. We love the game. So you, it shows that how passionate he is and how much he experience he, that he has. We kinda... <laughs> it feels like you've started 100 games here, but really you've only started a couple. Do you feel like you're progressing pretty well too? I mean, you get more and more comfortable in teaching some of the younger guys and stuff. I do, honestly, and I feel like some of the guys on defense look up to me in that aspect because they feel like they are uh, comfortable enough to come ask me questions about anything or just, you know, just for me to just pick them up when their spirits are low and things like that. But I feel like I've gotten real comfortable in my position and my role for this team, and I feel it's going to be a great season. You, guys, you had Antonio there in the spring, but you had a Jaheim Thomas from Cincinnati. Just what do you think of the two transfer linebackers so far? They both doing a good job. Uh, Antonio came in, you know, very vocal leader, very vocal type guy. And, you know, he leads by action. Uh, today we see we got to see him run today, too, and he was doing pretty well. Uh, like I said earlier, Jaheim Thomas, you know, he, he was moving around fluently today. You know, it's the first day, so, you know, we're going to make mistakes and things like that. But I feel like he, he left no room for error, and he just went out there and just played all out. He just played his hardest today. And then, KJ, there's a lot of new defensive backs that, you know, you're having to look at. Is there anybody who's really stood out to you yet, maybe from the transfers or the freshmen at defensive back? Uh, yes, uh, Snacks Johnson, um, uh, Al, like Coach Pittman said, Al, uh, just getting him back healthy. Uh, he's really intelligent on the back end. Uh, a lot of guys, Pookie probably tell you better than I can that he's pretty vocal and loud back there, make sure everybody's on the uh, right page uh, on the back end. Like I said, Snacks, I mean, all those guys that came in and uh, – Secondary has been great access to us, and they all learn. They're all eager. I mean, they all come out there with a mindset and a chip on their shoulder to get better. Yeah, what do you see from Al back there? 
Al just a great, just a great individual. Uh, he just got great high character and things like that. But on the football field, as far as that aspect, he's fast. He he has great instinct, and he like he said, he's just a vocal leader. He, he wants things done to the standard. Uh, he want to exceed the expectations of our coaches, which I like. Al, he's a natural born leader. We can see that. But he's just a fast, physical type guy, and I like him back there. What's the connection been like for the team and Ben Souders, the new strength staff? What what did you think the gains were over summer? Oh no, it's been great. We got a great relationship with the strength staff. We got a lot of respect for them. You know, they came in and they, you know, they changed the culture around here and things like that. But you know, the things that they've been doing has been great. You see a lot of guys putting on muscle mass and things like that. A lot of guys transforming their bodies and things like that, and also gaining speed and things in that aspect. So I feel like our relationship with the uh, coaches are pretty good. If I can ask both y'all about Landon, so you got to fly with him to Nashville, probably got to know him a little bit better. What do you think about his body transformation and what he might mean to the team this year? And then same question for you. Uh, just uh, like his leadership. I mean, guys look up to Landon. Uh, he's played a lot of ball for us. Um, just being able to come in and have a guy like Landon that leads by example. Uh, he's he's growing in the vocal leadership uh, aspect. Uh, I mean, that's the main thing. I feel like just me being able to be there and. I hold the team accountable. And I just have Landon to call on and make sure he's being vocal and making sure he's getting everybody on the same page as well as me. So just being able uh, to have a guy like Landon that leads by example and also growing and maturing and being a vocal leader. Yeah, and to pick off, piggyback off what uh, KJ said, you know, as far as the body transformation aspect, you know, Landon put on some great muscle mass. You know what I'm saying? He, he looks phenomenal, and we all can see that. Even if he was at the press, you see that. But the thing that I liked about his whole transformation is that he never lost speed and he also gained strength in that process and things like that because Landon worked his butt off the whole summer. And, you know, he was coming to me, he was telling me, like, you know, it's time for a change and things like that. And that just come in as him being a vocal leader and things in that aspect. And so just watching him transform his body was great and just, you know, becoming the ball player that he is today. For both of you, <clears throat> it was the first day of practice. Coach Pittman said everybody was on time. It was pretty early. Just how, how difficult was it getting up early for a practice like this? And how do you all think you, you handled it as a team? I feel like uh, it wasn't hard for people getting up. I feel like everybody was excited to get back, uh, knowing it's the first day. Um, so I feel like everybody was pretty excited to get back and be excited to be here in the, in the building for uh, fall camp first day. So I feel like, I mean, I don't know about Pooh, but I mean, I feel like for me, it wasn't uh, that hard for me getting up. I mean, I was pretty excited, really, uh, rock and roll. Yeah, see, it, it wasn't that hard for me to get up either. I was up at 4.45 a.m., so I went, it wasn't that hard for me. <laughs> KJ, what areas would you say that you've grown most working with Danny Enos? I would say uh, just becoming a quarterback. I mean, just being able to uh, just me and him get in and just talk about ball, um, talk about life, talk about everything. But from a football um, aspect, just being able to just get in, pick his brain, see how just knowing how he would call a game and what plays he's thinking on the, on third down or first down and stuff like that. So just being able to be a quarterback and him giving us uh, the freedom and responsibility to take over in the game and control the game, whether it's something going wrong or something going good, to keep that even key mindset. Like your feet move more when you're in the pocket. Has that been an emphasis? Uh, it has. I mean, I worked on it all summer. I uh, got a chance to go out and work on it. Um, so footwork has been a big deal for me, just being able to just come in and be an elite quarterback and put my teammates in the best position and make sure I'm in the best shape and giving my giving my all and sacrificing a lot. So just being able to work on my footwork and things like that in that nature. And then for Chris, for you, uh, there's been a lot of talk about KJ's leadership this summer. I guess you came in kind of right there when he was becoming the starting quarterback. How have you seen him evolve as maybe he's become more comfortable in that role? Yeah, ever since I came in, you know, KJ was a leader, and I feel like he gains respect for that, you know what I'm saying? So KJ was always the type of guy that if you had any questions about anything, you go to him and talk to him or even just, you know, just get to know him more and things like that. So as, he, as time went on, it got better. Uh, you know, KJ always was a type vocal leader. You know, if he says anything, the team – going to listen, not just the offense, or just like the whole team going to corral around him that we, and we let him know that we have his back no matter what's going on. So I feel like it's been great watching him grow, and, uh, you know, I'm excited for him. KJ, Bo and Brady are still going to be on the offensive line, but three new faces up there, whoever, you know, ends up starting. Just what do you think of the guys who have been there so far uh, outside of Brady and Bo? Uh, that, a great uh, – oh, I'm sorry. A great group of guys. I mean, just having uh, Bo and Brady uh, that played a lot of ball, veteran group. Uh, having those guys, those young guys that come in and transfers come in, can look up to those guys and ask those guys questions about what what's it like playing in the SEC and what they're going to be able to go against, go up against, and stuff like that. So having Bo and Brady is a, is a, a huge honor, 
And uh, I'm extremely blessed to have those guys come back another season and to have those guys to be able to be uh, extra uh, vocal on the offensive line and take over that room in there and just bring those guys along with them. At tackle, you know, Manuel and Kudis are out there right now. Just what do you think of those guys so far? Oh, uh, they're maturing. They're maturing. I mean, they're growing up really fast. They're understanding football. They've slowed the game down. That's what the main thing. They've slowed the game down for them. So, a lot of things are clicking for them. They're moving faster. They're thinking. Uh, they're overly communicating. Uh, they're making calls here and there. So, just being able to have those guys, like I said, just being in a, a room full of veterans, like uh, when Devin was here, like Ricky, all those guys, and Bo and Brady still there, still being able to help those guys and mentor those guys. I mean, so it's been a blessing. Yeah, KJ, you've obviously been through these first days before, first day of practice. Do you still get excited for it? Or as a fifth-year guy, how do you approach that? I'm extremely excited. I mean, like I said, I was really – I talked to my mom yesterday about it. Uh, couldn't really sleep that uh, well last night because I was just so pumped and eager to get out and be with my teammates and uh, get ready for a great present, a great season that we're going to have. So just being able to just – Get back to that mindset, just getting back in the rhythm of things and knowing that football is back and just being able to make sure that I'm doing everything I can to make sure that I'm doing what I do best and making sure my teammates are I'm bringing my teammates along. So you got up at 4.45. How, how early did you get up? I did. I set my alone for 4.45 and 4.50. <laughs> yeah. And what, what'd you th- how did you think the other quarterbacks th- threw the ball today? Oh, they did really good. I mean, that's what I um, – at the end of practice, I brought it up to them. Like, we're doing really good uh, – throwing the ball and making great decisions with the ball, knowing where the, where the ball should go and making sure the ball get there. So we're every, everybody's understanding how Coach Enos calls plays and uh, breaking down the defense and reading their um, – they're going through their pre-game, their pre-snap routine and stuff. So everybody's coming along really well.